How do you find or build strategic thinkers for a, a corporate and organizational security team? Well, strategic thinkers are, I think, bred than born. So, uh, so it really helps to have a very robust learning and development um, um, operation within an organization that is focused on developing talent from early career, you know, right in, right in the door all the way through to retirement. Um, and from a generational perspective, it's, it's really important that we understand the unique needs uh, for millennials, for Gen Xers, for boomers, so that as we develop them, we are um, developing them in ways in which they can fully appreciate and value and leverage, which will get the best of their talent and their ability to lead. Leadership will look very differently for uh, a, a millennial uh, than it will for a, a boomer. So the you know the structure and the design of the learning should really bring that that perspective into it. How do you get others to discuss security and risk in the organization the same way as a security leader would? Well, I think it's really about um, finding the, the the shared investment and the shared need. So uh, from a and also how that that. Um, how that message is communicated. Um, if it's communicated through the lens of from a, a security professional that's you know very kind of spoken in the language of security professionals to you know those in HR and those in business leadership, for instance, it's going to be hard to translate because it's just a, a world that that um, you know that these groups just don't fully understand. But if you can speak a across the, the shared values, so if, as an organization you're you know, collectively focused on uh, growth, so then positioning the message around security, around how these strategies can help drive growth. I think that the, the, the degree that we can put the security message into the language of the business will be the degree of the success of, 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 the, of the strategy. One more question. You know, I've seen the difference between corporate culture and structure, going to an IBM with the white collar button down shirt, and then going to Google headquarters with, uh, you know, the different painted walls and uh, everybody wearing purple t-shirts uh, to work. And it's, it's just, it's a whole different vibe, but it seems the financial branding and the, the whole, you know, uh, outcome of trying to make revenue and profitability for your company work is the same mm -hmm. in diverse, diverse cultures like that. Mm -hmm. How you know, as, a, as, a, as an HR person and as a professional in diversity and, and just cultural organizations, how do you view the two diverse uh, subcultures and in, in traditional and non-traditional cultures? Well, you know, there's an old phrase that Peter Drucker said uh, a long time ago that culture eats strategy for lunch. And that's true of you know more contemporary you know uh, millennial uh, focused cultures that are you know much more relaxed and informal, and those of your traditional uh, former formal you know more um, you know uh, I'd say bureaucratic uh, style organizations, if if you will. And ultimately, if there's a culture that values its people and that can bring the best out of every person that's there, whether it's you know, the, the person in the call center all the way up to the, to the CEO, and understand the lens from which they, they bring, uh, you know, it, the lens through which they work. So as a, a, as a millennial, as an African American, as a woman, um, and as we continue to grow, our, our organizations will increasingly become more diverse, our ability to value those differences, regardless of kind of the organizational structure, if the culture values the, the people and the, and the way that they, they lead and manage and grow and, and, and bring value to the organization, I think that will be the direct connection to its, its financial success. And those examples that you shared are representative of it. You can be just as successful being a hip, um, you know, uh, Google style organization as you could the traditional IBM, but it's all about how that culture values its people.